Are you looking for some fun ways to help your child practice their letters and sounds while strengthening their fine motor skills at the same time? In this video, I'm sharing 10 simple yet fun and engaging fine motor alphabet activities for preschool and kindergarten age children that you can do at home. If you're new to the Innovative Mama, my name is Jess and I'm a mom of one and a former early childhood teacher who is passionate about helping moms of little ones navigate the world of early motherhood. If you'd like to see more helpful videos on early educational activities, pregnancy, and parenting, then definitely click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. So around the time your child is in preschool or kindergarten, letter recognition, letter sounds, and fine motor skills are a huge part of learning. Being a former teacher, I love activities that combine multiple learning opportunities in one. So all of the activities that you're about to see in this video will help enhance your preschool or kindergartners fine motor skills as well as their alphabet skills. So without further ado, let's check out 10 fine motor alphabet activities for preschool and kindergarten. Just so you know, I've created all of the printable products that you're about to see in this video, most of which you can download for absolutely free in my early childhood resource library, which I will leave a link to in the description box below. So go ahead and grab those after this video. You can also visit my Teachers Pay Teacher store where you will find more of my printables for preschool and kindergarten. You can find a link in the description box below for that as well. Make sure to watch this video until the end because I throw in some tips and challenges along the way that you're not gonna wanna miss. So our first activity is a sand or salt tray. So you're going to wanna use a shallow tray for this activity. I got this one from the dollar store. And have your child either use their finger, an unsharpened pencil, or a paintbrush to write the letters in the tray. You can download this set of flashcards for free in my early childhood resource library, which I will link down below. An important tip for this activity is to make sure that you have a thin layer of whatever you're using in the bottom of your tray. Otherwise, your child won't be able to see the letter that they're writing. You can also fill your tray with other objects such as sprinkles, beads, or sequins. Also, adding a layer of textured paper to the bottom of the tray adds another element of sensory experience for your child as they feel the texture of the paper while tracing the letter. Next up, we have shaving cream. And I'm not gonna lie, I even had fun doing this while I was filming it. So simply have your child use flashcards to write letters in shaving cream on the table and then erase it with their hands. If your child needs a little more of a challenge, you can call out the letter or the sound of the letter that you want them to write and have them do it from memory. This activity can get messy, but it is totally worth it because kids love it. If you wanna cut down on the mess though, I've used aluminum trays for this activity to keep everything a little more contained, which is just as fun. Coming up next, we have fine motor alphabet mats. I love these because they're so versatile. You can fill these in in so many different ways, such as by using Q-tips to paint little dots, tearing up paper and gluing it to each letter, using dot markers, stickers, Play-Doh, pom-poms and tweezers. There are just so many possibilities. I also included pictures corresponding to the beginning sound of each letter on the alphabet mat so your child can color them in if they'd like to as an added activity. Next, we have letter tracing cards. Having your child trace letters with their fingers is very important for them to familiarize themselves with the letter, as well as build a memory trace of the letter formation. I created these letter formation tracing cards so your child can simply use their finger to practice tracing each letter. Up next, we have a clothespin letter match. I have two options for this, one with uppercase letters and one with lowercase letters. You just write either uppercase or lowercase letters on clothespins and then have your child match them to the correct letters. I recommend starting them with matching to the same case, for example, uppercase to uppercase. Then when they need a little more of a challenge, have them match to the opposite. Just a little tip, only have your child do a few clothespins at a time, otherwise the wheel will get too heavy for them and kind of bend and flop over. I also recommend laminating the wheels for durability. I will link an affordable at-home laminator in the description box below. These alphabet punch cards are a super fun and versatile way to practice fine motor skills and letter skills together. 
These are available right now as a dollar deal in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, which I will link down below in the description box. You can have your child use a hole punch to identify and mark the letter shown on the card. I got these from Amazon, which I will try and link in the description, but they're really easy to punch holes with and they're a perfect fit for little hands. You can also switch it up by having your child color the letters, use stickers to identify them, or even use dot markers. But my preschoolers and kindergartners used to absolutely love this activity. The next activity is great for getting outside in the warmer months. You just take some chalk and write letters on your fence and then call out a letter and have your child find the letter and identify it by spraying it with a spray bottle filled with water. If you don't have a fence, you can totally do this on the sidewalk or a driveway as well. If you haven't heard of wiki sticks, then go check them out in the description box below because they are so fun to work with. They are these little wax sticks that you can manipulate and mold into different shapes and objects. So a really fun activity is to use them to construct letters. Your child can use flashcards as a model for this activity, but by them molding the letters, they are gaining a greater understanding of letter formation, which will help them to remember and recognize letters better. Our next activity is a flashcard drop. So you just take an old oatmeal container or any other container that you'd like and cut a slit in the lid. Next, either have your child redo the letter before they drop it into the container, or you can call out the letter and have them find it before dropping it in. If your child needs more of a challenge, try this activity with letter sounds. I love sensory bins in early childhood. They are such a great way for young kids to explore and there is so much to be learned from them. So if you haven't guessed, our next activity is an alphabet sensory bin. You can fill your sensory bin with whatever kind of filler you'd like. For this one, I chose oatmeal. Then you just throw in some letters. These are the Munchkin foam bath letters, which I will link down below. You can bury the letters and then have your child use an object like a spoon, a shovel, or tweezers. These are from the dollar store to fish the letters out. When they find one, have them tell you the letter name or letter sound. If you're looking for more kindergarten and preschool activities that you can do with your child at home, then definitely check out my sight word activity video, which I will link right up here. It has 10 fun and easy sight word games that you can play with your child at home. Don't forget to download all these free resources from this video from the link in the description box and go ahead and check out my Teachers Pay Teacher store for more kindergarten and preschool activities. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and let us know in the comments what your favorite activity was or if you have another great fine motor alphabet activity to try. Be sure to subscribe before you go for more early education videos and activities. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.